What's going on guys? Welcome back to Bits and Bites. My name is Aaron and today we're going to be trying the Hellfire Hot Sauce Blueberry Hell. Now this is an interesting hot sauce. It has blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, pears, and pineapple as well as red serrano, red jalapeno, ghost pepper, orange habanero, and Carolina Reaper peppers. So without further ado, let's get right into it and try this sauce. Right off the bat, it smells very similar to Heartbreaking Dawn's Cauterizer in 1498. I think part of that's because it does have the same blueberries as well as peppers. Um, so you're looking at, you know, a, a kind of sweeter sauce with a nice kick at the back. There's no extract in this sauce. So if you're not a fan of extract, this might be one to try. Go ahead and bottoms up. It's actually not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. It has a nice little burn right at the back and a little bit of burn on the tongue as well. Um, also a little bit salty as well. I think I'm ready for my rating. Uh, as far as heat, it's not nearly as hot as the 1498 or Cauterizer. Um, I think we're thinking about probably a six on this one. Now, flavor-wise, it's really, really good flavor. Uh, I'm going to have to give them a solid 9 on flavor on this one. They did a really good job uh, keeping the flavor of the peppers, as well as getting just a little hint of sweetness in there. So, if you guys are looking for a hot sauce that isn't too hot, but has a good amount of flavor, and doesn't have an extract, I would definitely recommend the Hellfire Hot Sauce Blueberry Hell, the Special Reserve with the Carolina Reapers. That's it for this one. Stay tuned. Next week, I'm going to be doing a gusher challenge where I'm going to be taking a habanero pepper and putting hot sauce inside of it and taking a nice big bite of that. So if you guys want to see that, go ahead and like this video, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much.